My fellow St. Lucians, our country is in trouble. Our sweet St. Lucia is in trouble. And we are tired of just the talking, the talking, the talking and no action. We are tired of a government who ignores the pleas of our citizens. We are tired of a government whose response to the concerns and the requests for accountability are met with attacks on private citizens. We are tired of the cost of living in St. Lucia being sky high and the government's further contributions to that by not bringing down the cost of fuel, allowing bread prices to increase, and on top of that, imposing a new 2.5% VAT disguised as a health and security levy. We are tired. We see the excessive borrowing of this government. They have now gone and borrowed $201 million to invest in an 80-year-old St. Jude's Hospital, while our new state-of-the-art, world-class facility remains abandoned. A facility that requires only $50 million to complete and an estimated six months to complete. But yet they have gone and borrowed $201 million to invest in an 80-year-old facility who we all know, which we all know is wholly inadequate for a modern, to be a modern hospital or to take um, a severe fort in the South into the next 30, 40 years. Meanwhile, a world-class state-of-the-art hospital which only requires another 50 million to complete, another six months to complete, remains abandoned. St. Lucians, our country is in trouble and this government is not listening. We need to stop just the talking, talking, talking and complaining and show them we mean business. Tomorrow, we all St. Lucians, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of whether you live north or south, there's a call to come out to demonstrate to this government that you mean business, that you are serious, that the place and the state the country is going is unacceptable. And we St. Lucians are concerned about our country. Whether you are at home or whether you are abroad, there is a call to come out tomorrow to protest. If you are in St. Lucia, the call is to meet on the St. Jude's Highway at the junction by the Winner and Lewis Brewery at 3.30 p.m. There will be a march to St. Jude's and there will be a public meeting on the cantonment field after. The New York and Toronto caucuses, we have organized our own protests because we mean business. Whether we're at home or abroad, in the words of our own national anthem, wherever you may roam, love or oh love our island home, and we do. The New York people, St. Lucians in New York, concerned St. Lucians in New York, regardless of political affiliation. Once you are concerned about your country, come out. The New York caucus has organized for 3.30 on Eastern Parkway, Eastern Parkway and Utica, right outside the Rainbow Store. That is the gathering point of the St. Lucians in New York. In Toronto, in Toronto, tomorrow, we are gathering at the Anglican Church, in an enclosed venue at the Anglican Church, at 111 Manor Road East in Toronto. There will be placards, there will be um, material for us to make our own placards and we are gathering in a solidarity protest with our St. Lucians at home. St. Lucians, this is a time for action. This is the time regardless of political affiliation. We need to go across the political divide and stand for our country. This is not about Alan Shatton, it's not about you. This is our, our country going down a very, very, very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous path. And we need to stand up for our country. All St. Lucians, stand up for St. Lucia. Those of St. Lucians in Toronto, I will see you tomorrow at the Anglican Church, 111 Manor Road, East Toronto, 
we will see you there.